Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Solar Clue YouTube channel. I am Akshay and I am going to discuss a very special topic on a solar water heater today. So whenever we buy a solar water heater or any customer buy a solar water heater, he only thinks about three things. What capacity to purchase, what type of solar water heater to purchase and what brand to purchase. But we all forget to address what are the problems in a solar water heater, what problems can come to the solar water heaters in running duration and very few people and very few manufacturers try to address this so what are these problems these problems which we are going to discuss in this topic and how a company called new tech solar which is a bangalore based company from last 33 years they are manufacturing solar water heaters they are resolving these three issues with their special products which they are launching in the in the month of january and some have, they have already launched in last year so let us start <music> So 300 days in a year solar water heater will perform because solar water heater runs perfectly on a sunny day but 60 to 80 days in a year you don't get proper sun so your solar water heater is not going to perform and it is not going to give you desired hot water second problem the solar water heater gives you a fixed capacity only so that is why the capacity of solar water heater if you read it it is 200 lpd it's not 200 liter it's 200 lpd 200 lpd means 200 liter per day so means if you purchase a 200 lpd solar water heater it is going to give you 200 liter in a day no matter what so 200 liter is for five people if by any chance or because of any kind of occasion at your house you have eight people at your house so these three extra people will not be able to take bath these two problems is traditionally addressed by the manufacturers of solar water heater by giving you an electrical backup coil whose cost will come between 2000 to 3000 or 3500 in some location that depends on the capacity it is two kilowatt or three kilowatt electrical backup coil but the problem with this electrical backup coil is it is fully manual operation so let's suppose today is a non sunny day so tomorrow morning when you will go to the bathroom to take bath you are not going to get the hot water you are going to get the cold water so what you have to do you have to go to the terrace switch on the electrical backup coil manually come down to your house wait for some time let it heat and then you go to the bathroom or let your family members go to the bathroom and then you have to go to the terrace to manually switch it off if you don't go to the terrace to manually switch it off it will continue heating your water with electricity and that is going to give you a major electricity bill problem so what new tech company have done they have come up with a digital solution digitalize this electrical backup coil you can control this electrical backup coil via one time manual operation one time or you can do it via your app also you have to download the new tech app from the play store and you can operate it from your mobile phone also if you see this setup this is new tech 200 lpd solar water heater and if you come here you will see a digital controller of new tech so if you see clearly this is the controller and if you see this part this is called as electrical backup coil from here the wire is coming out and which is given to the electrical connection and this is the controller where you can set two things on this digital controller you can set two things first what temperature you want second what time you want or you can give the duration also I will make it easy for you as you can see here it is a digital controller of electrical backup coil now this is powered via electricity here you can see you can set here what you want to set you want to set the temperature or you want to set uh, uh, the time now from here you can increase it or you here you can reduce it or if you want to do it by via bluetooth via mobile application you just have to do shuffle this from here to here so you can do it via your mobile applications also now, if you want to have more information on how to do full settings you can click on the i button above and uh, you will be able to see the full detailed video. Let's say you take bath usually at 6 a.m. in the morning. The first person who goes to the bathroom, it's 6 a.m. You can set the time of 6 a.m. and you can set what temperature you want. So let's say today is a non-sunny day. So tomorrow morning, of course, your water will be somewhere around 25 degree to 30 degree temperature. So exactly at 5.30 a.m. in the morning, electrical backup coil will automatically start and it will start heating. In half an hour, it will reach to the desired temperature. Let's say you have given 50 degrees Celsius. So 50 degrees Celsius, it will reach and then it will switch off 
automatically. Isn't that good? That's amazing. So now because of this digital controller, you don't have to manually operate your electrical backup coil. You don't have to go to the terrace and do it manually on and off. So now you can be relaxed because the system is mobile operated also and this is automatic also. Automatic cut off and uh, switch on and switch off. Everything is automatically. On the values, this and Nutec company is providing is a remote like this. With a remote like this and a digitally controlled or the remote controlled valve. So in your plumbing line, there will be a valve which the Nutec company will only give and that valve will be remotely operated by this remote. So let's say you are going to take bath, let's say 8 a.m. in the morning. So before going to the bathroom, you just press this button for two seconds. Here one button you will get. This button you have to press it for two seconds. If the water present in this plumbing line have a temperature lesser than 35 degrees Celsius, then that means it is a cold water. Then this is of no use. So the valve will be open and the and the water will be drained out to some location. So maybe to the utility area or maybe to the sump. But if the temperature of the water is more than 35 degrees Celsius, which is considered to be a hot water, because usually we take bath from 40 degrees Celsius. So it will be considered as a hot water and the valve will not open because the sensor will sense it and the valve will not open and this and the hot water will directly come to your bathroom. So this is the prob second problem and how the Nutri company is providing the solution. Third and the biggest problem what we in, in a solar water heater is that when you purchase a solar water heater, very good. But after that, you have to do plumbing. Plumbing has three pipes. Input pipe, which comes from the source to the solar water heater. Output pipe, which goes from the solar water heater taking the hot water, the solar water heater to the bathroom. And the third pipe which you have to give is called as air vent pipe. Air vent pipe, you can see in the photo, air vent pipe is nothing but a long vertical pipe you have to give whose height should be equivalent to your overhead tank top height. So usually what we do, our overhead tank is kept at one floor above, which is usually 10 feet. And the overhead tank height approximately comes 5 to 6 feet. So from the terrace level, it goes to 15, 16 feet, which is a very high height. So what usually happens in a high rise building or G plus 2 or G plus 3 and more flows, this much height of air vent causes a lot of issues. This air vent will bend like this and it will block your air inside the tank and it will affect your tank on a longer run. Your tank is going to leak before the age. So the air vent issue was one of the biggest issue because of this air vent, lot of people having issues with the tank and their tank was started leaking within the warranty period. To resolve this issue, new tech company is providing a very innovative solution. They have patented a air vent. You can see this is air vent. Okay. If this is the patented air, uh, air vent, which is the innovation they have done. If this was not present, you if you will see the overhead tank whose height will be 10 plus overhead tank self height will be 5 feet. So 15 feet we had to give. But the, since this is this air vent is given, only this much air vent is required. This much piping is required. So this product will be available in the market from 1st of January. These were the three problems and how Nutec is providing the solution for all the three problems. Now, if you buy the product of this company, it will come with an option. If you want to buy this or you want to buy the digital meter, it's up to you. But you can buy all these three and all your problems will be resolved. Now we are going to go to a customer site where this digital controlled electrical backup coil system is kept and we will going to ask him some of the question and we will take the review. So we are at Nagar Bhabi location in Bangalore. We are at the customer house. Uh, the customer name is G Sridhar. Hello, sir. Hi. Hello. So, um, firstly, I would like to ask you the question is, uh, when did you purchase this product? Uh, this was close to an year. Uh, last year, around the same time we purchased it and, and it's installed very well. Uh, Mr. Ramesh was really involved in the installation. He, he really organized everything very well for us. My second question for you will be how in this last one year you have used this product. How satisfied are you with this product in terms of only heating naturally? Extremely good. I have to say uh, we took a 300 liter uh, unit. It's, it's also a very good recommendation to get this 300 liter unit. We are four people at home. It's slightly bigger than what we really need, but we are super satisfied uh, with the recommendation. My next question for you will be, since you have installed the digital controller for the electrical backup, when the sun will not be there, you will be using that. How satisfied are you with this product? This is also very, very useful because, you know, like it's not switching on unnecessarily all the time. And we know when we need, need hot water and uh, and and you know we set we have set a timing between 5 a.m. in the morning until 11 in the morning. Uh, so what happens if if 
someone had a shower the previous evening when we wake up in the morning we again are ready with hot water and one more a uh, very very useful tip that i would like to say is with this a uh, timer uh, our power bills have really dropped earlier i had a kind of uh, normal geyser on the rooftop it was installed here power bills were to the tune of 2x if i was spending 4000 rupees now i could be spending 2000 you know this is something that i want to highlight after installing this it's it's very good so we have asked three questions with him and he is really satisfied with uh, the heating solution the normal sun based heating solution and also the digital controlled automatic solution for the electrical backup thank you so much sir for your time and thank you thank you very much thanks guys